Okay, YouTube, back at it again with another custom Alexa skill um, that I put in place, kind of as a catch-all. I call it Ask House, so I can do various things around the house that aren't necessarily related. If you watch my previous videos to things like DirecTV or Nest or media or things like that directly, um, just odds and ends things around the house, again, as a catch-all. Got a bunch of other custom home automation stuff not necessarily related directly to Alexa or Echo or things like that that I'm looking forward to showing you guys. Uh, next one in the queue is Harmony Hub um, integration through Arduino. I have an opinion on that. <laughs> an IR uh, to IP bridge type thing to extend the functionality of Harmony Hub, which is really sweet. Uh, but we'll get, to that in, get into that in the next video. For this video, as mentioned, just we want to show various things that you can do for around the house um, with a custom skill that I have. First thing is, is checking whether the mailman has delivered the mail. And this is the physical mail rather than email, which we can check as well. But this allows us to, uh, I have a sensor uh, in my remote uh, mailbox that tells when the mailbox door has been opened, triggers the first time for the day it's been delivered, triggers the second time it's been retrieved, not triggered at all, is yet to be delivered. So we can do things like this. Alexa, ask house for mail status. The mailman has not yet delivered the mail. Okay, so we've not yet delivered the mail today. So uh, we can always know whether the mail has been delivered or retrieved um, um, by simply asking Alexa that status. Alexa, ask House for email status. You have one unread email message titled 1. Your tickets for Chicago Northside Mini Maker Fair 2016. Okay, so without having to pick up my phone, uh, go to my computer, be, uh, I can first see just by asking Alexa verbally whether I have any email to know whether I need to bother going go, and going and checking for it. She'll loop through up to 10 emails and tell me the title of each of those emails that are currently in the unread state. state. Uh, so mail, email, things like that, pretty cool. What about when people call the house? Um, I was away, I come home, I want to know who, what the most recent call to the house was. Alexa. Mm -hmm. Ask House who last called. Oops, she missed me. Alexa, ask House who called. Alexa, ask House who called. Last call received was from the pizza guy. 773-555-1212 at 11.34. Now, I rigged up my log call logs. Um, I have a modem connected to a computer that writes call logs um, that I can just parse and then display or, or, or display and or... or say if you will through alexa i rigged up that phone number just so it's a random kind of number just so i didn't reveal any sensitive information there now did i leave a message actually i actually previously before starting this video called the house from the cell um, and actually left a message to show this functionality i have uma as my phone service um, and i know uma recently released an echo skill but i've had this in place for much longer and it'll always play i can get her to always play over my entire house sono system rather than just via the alexa speaker itself whatever the most recent voicemail was i retrieve it automatically through uma um, and then encode that through FFmpeg and append a little introductory sound to it uh, that plays throughout the whole house whenever a, a voicemail is initially left or I can replay whatever that most recent voicemail was as well because that's the most recent one sitting down on my computer that's encoded. Alexa, mm -hmm. ask house for most recent voicemail message. Okay. <laughs> So that's playing over my Sono system through the whole house. Okay, so now we can hear uh, who last called the house and what their message was if they left one. Um, say we want to do things like do some uh, cool control um, of some uh, gates and garages, if you will. Um, so let's go ahead. This isn't the Lexus custom skill. This is just using the on-off functionality to switch the inputs on the TV. But let's go ahead and take a look at our outside gate, Alexa. Turn on Courtyard. Jeez, Alexa, you're finicky today. Okay, so switching over, there's a TV input. Here's an outside gate to my complex. You can do things like this now. Alexa, ask House to open the gate. Okay. There we go. Opening our vehicle gate uh, to our complex. That's actually, we'll get into that in another custom uh, video as well. That's an Arduino hooked up uh, to a spare remote I have soldered up uh, that sends the remote triggers to open the gate. Alexa. Turn off courtyard. Okay. So we'll go ahead and leave courtyard uh, back to regular TV. Now say we want to go to the garage instead of the courtyard. Alexa, turn on garage cam. Okay. 
So I'm in a town home, so I got a little garage here, but you can see this, you see my bike hanging here, but as soon as we open it, you'll see how that works. Alexa, Alexa, ask house to open the garage. Okay. See that coming on, garage opening. So we got our garage open. All through that custom skill. We'll go ahead and wait for that to finish opening. The garage door is now open. That's actually Sonos um, announcing uh, throughout the whole house status of things. I do things like the, the, the front door, the garage, various other things announced throughout the house using Sonos. But go ahead and let's let's close that back up. Alexa, ask house to close the garage. Alexa, ask house to close the garage. She's timing out fast. Okay. There we go back closed. Garage door coming down. See it get dark in there. You can tell from the video that it's closing. Yeah, you guys can see it moving there. So that's the garage. When she closes up, Sonos should kick in. Tell us that it's closed. Um, the garage door is now closed. There we go. Garage door is closed. So that's some uh, gates and garages and things like that um, where I can control. Um, go ahead and do things like one of the cool things too that i can do is the calendar now i know echo has the ability already to state your google calendar i use google calendar but what it doesn't do is allow you to merge multiple calendars you got to switch accounts very t is very difficult i went ahead and interfaced with the google calendar api to merge all of my calendars into a single um uh, array of events that i can announce over echo alexa mm -hmm. ask house what's on my calendar there are three scheduled events for today. Pay the direct TV bill. Personal. Two, encore sings at Northwestern Men's Basketball. Daughter school. Three, eighth grade final home games. Another daughter school. So there's one personal and two school calendars. Those are separate calendars. I also have a work calendar. So whatever I have on my calendar, um, I can go ahead and hear those all in one simple request whereby I've merged all of those together as a single, single type of thing. That's it for now. Alexa, turn off garage cam. Alexa, turn off garage cam. Okay. So that's it for now. Sorry, guys. She's definitely finicky today where if I'm not speaking quick, and I already speak quick as it is, um, she's timing out on me. But uh, you guys get the point. You guys know how that is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for some more. As mentioned at the top of the video, cool home automation, homebrew hacks, and things I've got in place. I'm going to kind of focus, turn attention away from Echo and Alexa over to some Arduino skills, uh, Arduino skills, Arduino coding and uh, custom homebrew and automation that I've done that, again, I think you guys will like as well. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.